welcome to all of you friends for this uh, introduction class on holistic wellness. Namaste to all. Good morning to all. So please switch on your uh, videos also. Possible. All of you. So let's make this a interactive session, right? So <clears throat> today this one hour we'll be focusing on uh, knowing few things, okay? And first of all, the, the first uh, aspect which we will discuss is what is the importance of this holistic wellness, holistic way of living. Okay, that's very important. After that, we'll try to see some of the uh, some of the topics. Basically, what are the main foods we should uh, try to eat in order to avoid the diseases, and also we'll try to see so what will be the <clears throat> some of the acupressure points, some of the mudras. Okay. And then finally, your question and answers. And of course, we'll be starting the uh, this holistic wellness uh, course. Will start okay from first May. It will start for two weeks. Okay, every every month it will be repeated twice. Okay, the first two weeks and the second two weeks. Two courses will be there. That I'll explain you later. But anyway, you can switch on your videos so so that you know it will be more easy to interact. Okay, all of you. Yes, yes. Please do that. It's good to interact, right? Isn't it? <clears throat> so some of our participants are there from the uh, previous, uh, you know, all our uh, spiritual classes. Manisha, I'm seeing here. Good morning. Yes. So Manisha ji, and yes. Likewise. <clears throat> good. Right. So welcome to you all of you all of you once again to this uh, introduction class on holistic wellness right so my dear friends my dear masters this uh, this this class will be in uh, only english so medium of uh, instruction will be in only english okay right so see in fact uh, this holistic wellness uh, we have been teaching a bits and pieces on every saturday in spiritual classes we teach in english as you all know uh, the war participants of our uh, spiritual uh, one month, uh, 21 days classes, they all know that on Saturday we'll teach. But what happens is I cannot take into depths. Okay. I cannot take into depths. The reason is uh, we'll have only 30 to 35 minutes to teach uh, on Saturday alone. Right. Otherwise, remaining days uh, it is filled with the complete uh, all the spiritual uh, programs or spiritual wisdom. Now, anyway, this uh, special workshop, if I do, what will happen is I can benefit uh, many people and in fact uh, everybody will learn very deeply into the holistic wellness, holistic way of living, natural way of living, okay, all this. So that in future you can teach others also, you can use in your own life wherever, whenever you get any problem. In fact, uh, for all health problems, uh, what is the main uh, course of uh, therapy or what treatment? Right now, allopathy, isn't it? So, allopathy is the main way of treatment. Nowadays, uh, in the society, in the you know, which is in a mainstream of medicine, you can say, mainstream of medicine. But what I say is, from Sanatana Dharma, from the age-old sciences, right? Our Ayurveda, naturopathy, it was so-called, even homeopathy also joined uh, mainstream of medicine. But it's also holistic medicine, only I can say. I don't say it is a sometimes something called chemical medicine. I'll try to, I will treat that also as a holistic medicine. Okay. Likewise, uh, if you go and see Burma therapy, right? So you, in fact, energy healing also is there, energy healing. So there are many alternative methods, try to understand. Don't think that uh, if you somebody get a disease, right? So always we should go to the allopathy doctor and test it and do all that. It's not required. Okay. See, <clears throat> there's something called self-diagnosis. You can do yourself. So that I teach in uh, the next uh, two weeks course. How can you diagnose for any problem? So problem related to right from the digestion system, right? Your nose, your uh, tongue and your ears, your eyes, right? And uh, in fact, your teeth huh? and uh, with respect to, let's say, lungs, heart, liver, pancreas. Huh? So like the testes, prostate. So for every organ, for every organ, whether it is in a proper condition or not. Okay. We have a mechanism of identifying ourselves. 
We don't need to go to your doctor and find out whether I have this problem or that problem. So you don't need to do that. So there is very much a natural way of mechanism. It's called self-diagnosis. We can do ourselves. Okay. When we do ourselves, then do you think you need uh, any expenses for diagnostics? All this going to you know the medical laboratories and spending huge money. And then they say that, okay, there is some problem with, with, with respect to your liver. Uh, there is some problem with respect to thyroid. Okay. But I can identify myself. Those are the techniques we are going to teach here in this next, uh, from May 1st when we start the course of two weeks, right? It's run from uh, May 1st to probably up to May 14th, okay? So in this total, um, the, the two weeks course, we teach all this. How do you how do you identify or how do you diagnose yourself for any kind of a physical illness? Of course, mental illness, not a problem. So these two things is very important, friends. So one is self-diagnosis. Second thing is I also say prevention. See now I taught you why we have to diagnose ourselves because to, to reduce the expenses but also to, to mislead us. Many of the places I'm telling you, even doctors also, because the nowadays doctors are under great pressure. They are not they are not meant for health health care. They are actually they are meant for health care. Okay, health scare. It's like a instead of healthcare system, they are maintaining the health care system. Imagine you go to any doctor. Okay, so whether you have small, you have fever or a cold, cough or something, but he'll write me a test. Okay, go for this blood test, urine test, and uh, uh, then you identify what are the various issues. Right, he will give all the test. The reason is he wanted to earn some income for the hospital and for the laboratory. Right. So th this is how it is designed actually. It is going with a certain design. Try to understand. So it's not fault of doctor also. It's a fault of the system. Okay. That's where they are pressurized. They have a lot of pressure. What to, what to do? So they have to follow that. Otherwise their jobs are not guaranteed. Isn't it? So that's how it is working. System is working. So in this uh, scenario, what I am trying to bring an alternative is we have a lot of alternatives. Don't worry. Okay. Be happy. Stay happy. Stay happy. Stay healthy. That's our concept. Throughout your life, say, let, me, let me tell you, throughout your life till the end of the last breath. Okay? We have to be happy and healthy. It's very, very, this is an important mantra for the life. Try to understand. If you don't stay healthy, then you cannot be happy. Obviously. Physically or mentally. So, first stay healthy. Stay healthy with respect to physical and mental. Okay? And then what will happen? Obviously, you will be happy and joyful throughout the life. Maybe the last breath is not guaranteed. I mean, last, last breath, nobody knows. For any person, last breath is nobody knows. It is uncertain. This is called uncertain. One of the one of the most uncertain event in our, in our life is that is the death. Most uncertain. Only few people, like you know, yogis, masters, can know that. They only know that certainty or the date, which we don't know. Which many people. All the people, a common people, they don't know. That is why don't worry, don't worry about the date. Anyway, it comes one day, other day. It may come after 50 years or 60 years or 10 years or 5 years. No, nobody knows. It is uncertain event. So don't worry about the uncertain event which is going to happen. Anyway, it is bound to happen. Don't worry. But be happy till the last breath. This is my you know the kind of a proposition. What I am trying to give all of you through this today's class, okay? So this is what I'm proposing to all of you. Stay healthy, stay happy. Stay joyful till the end of the last breath. For that, what we need to do? Three things. One is diagnose ourselves. First of all, identify what problem we have in our physical body. Second, prevention. Third, cure. Third, cure. These three things which we are going to cover in next even uh, 14 days class also. That is, Two weeks course, course also what we are giving on holistic wellness. This is the first batch we are going to start, my dear friends. So what happens is, in that also, I'll be teaching in every batch, like, you know, uh, basic uh, basic holistic principles plus different, different techniques. But different diseases. We have about uh, 200 varieties, of, 270 varieties of diseases are there. Understand? 200 and 270. So many kind of diseases, variety of diseases are there. For all those we have good solutions. That means natural solutions. No unnatural, no chemical based. Okay. 
in that in that perspective what happen we will be able to protect our health in a great manner we will be able to that's what i told you know three things these three things are very important first one is self diagnosis identify ourselves what problem i am going through not spending huge money for the diagnostic diagnostic laboratories and doctors and also there is a there is a chance of misleading you also if at all there is an emergency only i suggest or we suggest right we suggest to approach a doctor if there is an emergency in all conditions of 95% cases no emergency friends try to understand we only create emergency or hospitals will create emergency for you they will create emergency or you create you create emergency on your own that is the problem okay that's how it happens most of the times i'm telling you because you are scared you are frightened you are you are fearful about your health what have, what may happen to me right for example somebody gets just a, in the chest area you get some kind of a gastric issue you feel like some pain what do you do immediately go to the cardiologist now your story ends there right you are so called the dreadful journey or fearful journey will start there that's where you get into problems understand what exactly is there what exactly you are going through you have to identify yourself little bit you do whatever practices you know at your home first maybe so one hour one hour one hour what may happen nothing will happen in one hour you you got some chest pain or just some kind of a discomfort for example right i we will be teaching in these classes holistic wellness classes so many techniques in order to arrest that in order to prevent it in order to come out of it then what you do just practice them within one hour you are all right no need to go to any doctor no need to go to any diagnostics lab so that you know if you go there of course there is a chance that the moment the chest pain chest gastric or issues they just to put you into the angiogram angioplast angiogram basically ecg then they found that there are some blockages within some veins blockages are bound to happen friends who doesn't have blockages you just take a normal a healthy person and put him under the so called angiogram or whatever you know ecg i will show the i'll promise you that every person you and me and everybody in fact just take you put under the ecg you find many blocks in the veins it is it is not that you know nobody will have blocks blocks will be there but heart has got a greatest uh, greatest facility it's a wonderful organ what it does is it has got bypasses many bypasses if one one particular way has got some block what it does is it creates a bypasses so in the bypasses what happen it corrects himself itself you don't need to worry probably what happens is most of the times so you know in the chest pain chest discomfort it happens because of the vayu amsha vayu tattva see vata pitta kapha right vata pitta kapha vata is more when the vata is increased that means vayu amsha is increased so when the vayu amsha increase that the vayu is spread across the body wherever it spread so wherever it goes for example i i get suddenly some pains here suddenly some pains here suddenly some pains right maybe i get some different body in the, in, in the parts of the different body i may experience some pains all the time why because so this vayu amsha the vayu tattva it gets elevated that means it get uh, so called uh, increased you can say like uh, it is augmented okay when it is increased what happen you feel obviously the pain that's how so how to resolve it we have many methods simplest very simplest methods right i teach you one mudra so just follow that mudra i'll tell you i'll uh, i'll guarantee that within <clears throat> within 10 minutes you will come out of that pain so do you need more than this do you need any medicine for this see i don't say it is wrong that you know allopathy is giving the wrong treatment i don't say that but whenever required only you take it okay if there is an emergency for example you need a ventilator support right or you need a sudden operation support surgery surgery support for example somebody fall and down accident happened so you can't take a homeopathy or naturopathy or a mudra therapy or acupressure those things you can't take you can't apply suddenly the person has to be taken to hospital right so that is where the importance of every system friends so i say that every system is so super on this earth planet but use it wisely that is left to you in fact you know you always don't depend on the doctor 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 so many people you know use the words like something like family doctor i don't understand what is family doctor concept 
why do you always always say that a family doctor or family doctor need to be uh, you know met or uh, need to be consulted no not required see you you especially you are a you are a soul you are a soul you are a so called atma you are a soul you are living this physical body how long you are living you are living 30 40 years don't you understand about yourself don't you understand what, how my atma how my heart is working how my brain is working how my what is the health of my eyes what is the health of my nose don't you understand that much then why do you need doctor for everything for somebody you know they get head pain they get a headache they go to doctor they get a cold they go to doctor i don't understand why do you want to do all that eh? so you are living in your body you are the best judge you are the best doctor for yourself of course, the God also given the greatest wonderful system within you. You know that? The God has created the wonderful doctor within you. It's called inner doctor. Antar Vaitya. Antar Vaitya. Okay? The greatest doctor, I can say. More than that doctor in on this earth planet, nobody can help you. More than that particular doctor. He's called inner doctor. Who is that? Your own immunity power. Your own immunity power. And I can say this immunity power, whatever the immunity power is there. So he is the best doctor, the super super, super specialist. Can, I can say that. He can cure any disease. What matter? Doesn't matter. Any disease it may be for the physical body, he will cure. Provided that you create the environment. You have to create the environment. You spoil the environment and then say to the under, inner doctor, please cure me. You will not cure. For example, I have got a diabetes. Anybody. So got the diabetes. What do you need to do? Diabetes you got, right? So your own inner doctor can definitely cure it, provided you have to create environment. Not that you know you go and uh, you go and uh, drink one uh, thumbs up Coca Cola, Pepsi, isn't it? And you are going to eat lot of sweets, sugar based sweets, and say that uh, to inner doctor, please cure me, please do that. No, you know you cannot do it. You are already creating a bad environment, and you are telling them to cure it. How does it happen? It's a quite contradictory what you are doing, isn't it? So we should not do that. We have to create a proper environment and ask him. Wisely ask him. Pray him. He will do that. Absolutely will cure. You don't need any doctor for this. You don't need any diabetes. Diabetologist and uh, so great doctors and specialists. No need. It will cure itself. I am telling you. I can show hundreds of examples for this. Because I have been teaching this for a long time. And especially in spiritual classes. Just with meditation we have cured many diseases. Only meditation. That's why... Part of this, friends, the next two weeks course, what we are going to do, part of that, meditation, is that it? Meditation for small duration and then comes to the, all the, the food style, all the food and nutrition, all the lifestyle techniques and then comes to acupressure, then comes to mudra therapy, then comes to home remedies, okay? And we teach this thing and then on every Saturday, spiritual wisdom workshops will be there, okay? This is a package, this is a whole package which we are going to run through. Okay. The total 40, the 40, two weeks may, Sunday is holiday, but another 12 days, 12 classes I'll be giving you. Okay. So it will be so wonderful and uh, it's a wonderful journey basically. It's a wonderful journey we all will be going through. Isn't it? So that's how we need to, so we need to amend our life by day, friends. We always, you know, think about somebody, somebody, somebody will come and rescue me. Nobody will come and rescue you. I'm telling you. For very small, small issues, going to doctor, so especially, you know, English medicine, allopathy system, what happened is, it's all about, it's all about the chemical-based medicines. What does the chemical do when it goes into the body? You tell me. The first thing is, your, your liver itself will reject it first. Your liver itself will reject that medicine. It won't digest properly. Okay. It will not digest. It will digest half of. Uh, that means I can say like, say like uh, it will digest incompletely. When that medicine itself is digested incompletely, where does it go? It go into the blood. All the you know, toxins that will be pumped to the that will be sent towards the kidney for the filtration. More and more filtration. The kidney will get into the overloaded. Then kidney slowly gets fired. Then after some time, what they do? For example, let me take a diabetes, uh, an example. First, they start small dose, right? Small dose, they will start. Say that, okay, take this tablet lifelong. So after two, three months, so some kind of a control, they keep it. They try to keep some control. They don't they don't worry from where this uh, diabetes happened. What is the root cause for the diabetes? Whether it is a stress 
whether it's a lifestyle, whether it's a food or anything else. Is the root cause found first of all? The root cause is not found. Are the endocrine gland system is working properly within the person? Are we finding that? Is the pancreas gland is working properly? Is the adrenal gland is working properly? How do you diagnose all this? No, no, they will not diagnose anything. They just put you blood test for the, the before fasting, after, after the food. They just test you two values. If the values are found to be, you know, uh, like more than the normal values, normal reference, then they declare you as a diabetic patient. Finish, over. Your life is done now. No more, no more life for you. You are, you just, you know, you entered into the so-called the restricted life and congested life, I can say. It's a congested life. There's no freedom. Where is the freedom for you now? You can't eat anything. You can't eat whatever you like it. You can't, uh, you know, do any kind of a little, uh, say, let's say you can, you cannot do good exercises or you can't uh, run or you can't go anywhere. So all that will be restricted. And then first, first of all, most, uh, the highest restriction happens within your mind, first of all. The reason is you think always that I am a diabetic patient. The moment it happens within you, it is going to do a lot of inner changes, my dear friends. Then you always become weak, you, know? you become weak, you become, you are prone to many other diseases, basically. You will get a lot of other diseases also, obviously. All this happens. So what happens is when the diabetes happen, now they start giving one small dose. Then after a few months or whatever, so you put all the diabetic value is not you know coming into reference the proper normal range then they give some more dose then they run like this for five years six years or ten years the one tablet will be every day half tablet one tablet one you know, like for one 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 time in the day they you keep taking then what happened this medicine is going to create a havoc in the, inside the body what it does it is going to give lot of wastage you know? I can say lot of residues of this medicine. The residues, why I say residues, they won't be digested properly. All the residues enter into the blood directly. So bundles of bundles of, you know, the abundant bundles of this uh, toxins will be there within the blood. Imagine now. Now who will be filtering this? There are three ways to filter the blood, basically. Right? So basically two ways I can say. So one is uh, three ways. Okay, let's say with the including skin, three ways. Right? One is kidney. Kidney, what it does, take the entire blood into the kidney, that is Mutra Pinda. Then it will do the dialysis, the like you know, self-dialysis, natural dialysis. Then what it does, you know, go on filter, go on filter all these toxins, unnecessary things, then getting into urine, then it try to send out. But the amount of toxins are huge. How can it handle it? It will fail. Now then they say, okay, kidney fail. A long diabetic patient be prone to the kidney failure. Then they say, okay, your kidney is failed. What to do? So do one thing, come to come for dialysis. Now they put you to the dialysis. So now one more dreadful journey started. Again, one more fearful journey started for you now. What do you do? You don't have any, you, you don't have any support, any more support by, by your own system. Your, your own system has lost control on, on yourself. Now you have to depend on the doctor always because you entered into the so-called dialysis now. In the dialysis, what they do, they you know every day they clean the entire cleans the entire blood, then fresh blood they will enter into. This out there, a lot of amount, a lot of expenses, and a lot of mental torture, physical, physical torture, pain, a lot of pain, physical pain, mental torture, and then whole family will suffer. Understand? So, where did you enter? You entered just with just, just with the because of the one tablet of diabetic for every day, small, small, small dosage, then you enter into dialysis now. After, then what they do? They repeat the dialysis for how many, maybe years or months or whatever. How much ever you can bear, how much ever you can bear. What are, financially, physically, how much ever you can bear, that much they will continue. After that, they leave the hands. What do they say? No, I can't, we can't help anymore. So this patient is no more useless, useful. Please take him back. Then what happens? Now, that's the last, the last day will come. The final day will come. The person will depart. I mean, he loses uh, life itself. He has to, he has to just leave the physical body, isn't it? Because the pain cannot be tortured. The pain cannot be bared by your own soul. Soul, soul cannot live in that kind of body. How can the soul can live in a dilapidated house? For example, one, one house is there. The house is already almost like about to collapse. Will you live there? Will you go and live in that house? 
will take for rent or you, do you want to own that kind of house? No, because the house is almost like collapsing. It's going to collapse. Similarly, the soul within us, soul within us, it knows the health of the body very much. Of course, health of the body is ruined, is destroyed by ourselves, nobody else. I'm telling you, so as long as health is in our hands, within our hands, health is within our hands, we are safe and secure. We are happy and always. We are happy and joyful. But if you lose the health from your hands, then it goes to the doctor. Doctor hands, no more control, my dear friends. You cannot be joyful. You cannot become healthy once again. You know, so there is one uh, statement in one of the, the great university, I think uh, Stanford University. One patient will ask uh, the, his professor. He, is, he was teaching, uh, you know, neurology, physiology, all these things. One um, uh, a professor will ask one question to the all the all the you know students. When, when will be the patient? Uh, you know, uh, when will the when, uh, how how the patient will be detected? First of all, how the patient will be detected? When you go to doctor, then only you will be detected. Otherwise, you know, he is not a patient. Any normal person go to the doctor, he become a patient. That uh, uh, that student will answer. Again, you will ask uh, the professor will ask when the person becomes normal, right? So it is rarely, rarely ever. He says rarely ever. What is the meaning? It means the person goes to a doctor, become a patient. Normal person goes to a doctor, become a patient. Then when will be able to come out of that condition? He says rarely ever. It means may it is not possible. It is not possible to come out of the illness or to come out of that. You know, you it's it's highly impossible. Okay, you will be patient all the time. So that is why. So, so what I would like to conclude here is, friends, so definitely we need to learn all this natural way of living, right? That's what I told in this, in this next, uh, let's say we are starting on May 1st, that four, the two weeks, two weeks of course, you'll be able to learn many, many things and you get a feeling that, you know, I can live now, I can live my life, wonderful life, joyful life, I can live, I don't need any support, no doctor, no medicine, isn't it? So uh, I myself can, uh, you know, I myself can uh, diagnose, I myself, myself can prevent, I myself can cure whatever I have, problems, physical problems, mental problems, social problems. What do you want? More than this, what do you want? You tell me in the life. Nothing else, isn't it? So that's why, friends, so always we need to recognize the importance of so-called holistic healing in day-to-day -day life by every human being on this earth planet. Otherwise, Otherwise, we cannot be joyful, we cannot be healthy on this planet Earth. It is highly impossible. No doctor can give you the health, my dear friends. No doctor can give you the health. In fact, imagine. He can only give a controlling. He can give a, he can just uh, give a relief, basically. Relief also on that particular day or next day. Again, the, the, the disease will repeat. Why the disease will repeat? Tell me. There is a root cause. You are not attempted the root cause. You are not corrected the root cause. How can the problem is disappearing? How can the problem is going to be vanished or disappear? No, it's not going to be. Since the root cause is all root cause is already present in your system, in your home, human system, in your body itself, it is still presenting. It is still present means as long as it is existing, nobody can become healthy again without the correction of root cause, friends. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. So, my dear friends, other thing is. Many times what happens is, we think that the illness is in the physical body. But I will always say one thing. Always remember one thing. The illness is not in the physical body first. It starts in the energy body first, vital body. It's called vital body. Or you can, you can say like, you know, this, for example, this physical body is called Anamaya Kosha. Okay. What is before that? What is, the, what is that before? Before that is there is Pranamaya Kosha or so-called etheric body or vital body, the, the first of all, the disease starts over there. So we teach techniques in next, uh, like, you know, two weeks course. So before the, before the disease comes and deserve, appears into the physical body, we will correct it. That's called the best prevention mechanism. Then what else you wanted? It, any disease, you name any disease, doesn't matter. We are going to correct before it enters into so-called your physical body, then you are done. Your prevention is 100%. Then you don't get any disease. 
why do you want to go to doctor why do you want to take chemical medicine and uh, taking injections steroids uh, so called antibiotics uh, injections so many so many so many things many 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 times what happen you know so uh, this cancer patients and all they can't withstand the pain they will give morphine morphine is one of the highest uh, state of uh, so called uh, this uh, injection for the pain killer okay so you know what is what's going to happen next after giving that organs will fail basically such is the power the power of that you know morphine in fact so in one of the hospital let me tell you one of the hospital the great experiment is experiment is conducted on group of patients let's say some 10 patients other 10 patients what did they do is simple mechanism i am telling you how the holistic healing happens many times how the holistic healing takes place i am telling you this kind of many examples i will be giving in the you know that uh, two weeks course no problem so you can start you can wonderful uh, all those wonderful studies we will go through and uh, really we can enhance our wisdom we can enhance our healthy lifestyle okay so that, uh, that this particular experiment is conducted like this group group a group b they divided the patients all are suffering from the cancer and uh, of course uh, cancer means lot of pain isn't it lot of pain will be there now so in one of the group what happened is they put the normal saline dra saline uh, drops saline drops they put it and uh, that saline water is going on and uh, they say that see this water this is actually morphine morphine you know very powerful painkiller okay this will cure your pain oh like that so this patient said oh so okay definitely doctor i am thankful to you so they just you know they received that they just you know, believed it they trusted that this water normal saline water they have connected and saying that this is a morphine now that's a group a so they are they underwent for 10 days uh, this uh, course next another group what they have done is they have put the morphine directly morphine they say that this is a normal water saline water oh like that so it just it will give you energy or something they said okay but they have given actual morphine okay morphine painkiller in the form of drops now after 10 days the results are wonderful how the results are you know the people who have taken uh, believed and taken the saline drops okay saline water as a morphine they are cured their pain is gone the other people so even the morphine is given they said that it is a uh, you know normal water their pain is not gone okay this is the experiment they have done the wonderful experiment right this is called placebo effect what is this called placebo effect imagine friends placebo effect is working such a wonderful way imagine then what this is called holistic healing what is this called holistic healing okay try understanding this okay one more example i'll give you see one of the journalists basically so he was a great journalist in america he went to see one great uh, vip he was uh, he was receiving the vip in airport okay and that day in the airport what happened lot of uh, complete fog was there complete fog so he was standing there then suddenly what happened one jet came and hit him jet came and hit him he could not observe that jet is coming or whatever in the, the thick fog okay then his complete bones everything complete smashed like anything fractured so then he entered he entered to the state where he cannot move not even not even fingers not even hands it's like this but he's he's still alive okay then he has been taken to the nearby the great hospital okay and he has admitted and the doctors tell doctors told only one thing three more months you can live three more months you can survive not more not, not more than three months and also you have to lie always in the bed you can not even one finger not, finger will also not finger also will not okay that is the condition now i'm just giving an example for holistic living holistic healing basically it is one of the best example for holistic healing so that this kind of examples many many will be knowing and also many tips also will learn right now okay so if you that okay i have no more time only three months right okay let's let me whatever so guests are coming because he's a great journalist right famous journalist in america so many guests are coming many many people are coming and going and visiting all that then one of the one friend came one day okay then what it did what he did is so i mean what we do when you go to a patient we do we, do, we show some pityness right some sympathy basically and give some prose or whatever and say some good words and come that's what we do that's what we do right and many people in fact we try to show more sympathy towards him then he become more and more patient only he cannot come out of that the reason is uh, we are using the same language what he is going through already so that will add that will add fire like you know the something like uh, a oxygen to the fire 
right? So we are actually adding the oxygen to the fire. Fire will, I mean, further it will increase like that. Anyway, so one one friend came. He was he started cracking the jokes. Okay, he started cracking the jokes. Powerful jack, powerful jokes like a Charlie Chaplin jokes. Okay, he started uh, cracking, and then this this fellow. In lifetime, I mean, in in that uh, three months, what like you know the the duration, what he was staying in the hospital, right? He also laughed like anything. The other you know, other adjacent rooms and everybody came. Why is what is happening? So he that that joke. He forgot about his uh, physical health. Uh, you know, physical health. How is his condition? He forgot. He laughed like anything. So big laugh. Then what happened? You know. So likewise, the at the end of uh, you know at the end of that uh, friend stay. At the end of that, this this finger started moving. The finger started moving. You know this finger. Finger started moving. Then she uh, like you know uh, uh, that uh, this uh, the friend who came, he noticed that. Then he told to doctors. Then they came and saw how this happened. Why how the how 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 your fingers are able to move now? And then slowly slowly you know from then they put one screen and always playing these jokes. Okay, this is uh, a uh, Charlie Chaplin jokes every day sometime. Within three months, let me tell you, for our surprise, after three months, he walked out of the hospital by walking, running only. Can you imagine if this happened in a, any other way of any other way of healing? Will it happen? No, impossible. So hence, remember our remember very very carefully our body as a system of healing, our own healing system. It can do wonders. Only thing is you have to trust, you have to believe. You have to give. You have to create the environment. Okay. You have to create the environment to cure itself. But we never do that. We always do contradictory, contradictory, or you know, to support the same illness. Then it will never come down, friends. It will never go out of your system. It will stay as long as you don't recognize it. You don't. Uh, you don't make a friendship with it. It will not go. It will stay with you till last breath itself. It will stay. Right. So mostly the same illness will take your life. You will take your life, and then you need to leave the physical body. Such a situation arises, my dear friends. So these are some of few examples I am giving. I'll try to uh, explain you much more, much more in the coming days from May first. It will be a wonderful journey, my dear friends. So, so these are the these are the you know it's an introduction. I'm trying to just explain you all the introduction about the holistic healing, natural lifestyle, all that. Okay. So for example, let me explain you just a food one one tip in the food. Let me tell you like. I'll, I'll talk about some few tips basically today just uh, because of an introduction and then when we start the actual course every day the wonderful tips uh, as i told you five may five main contents will be there part of this course 14 days course so you can learn the greatest tips health tips food tips isn't it and the prevention mechanism healing mechanism curing mechanism many things you can learn in that 14 days it will be a wonderful journey so today i talk about one food tip for example, somebody is suffering from diabetic. What do we do when we suffer from diabetic? We go to doctor. Doctor say, okay, start this uh, 10 mg, so, so and so, this particular uh, statin, for example. One uh, medicine they start. They, you keep taking. Then you, say, you also say, what is that? No? Eat chapati. Eat chapati. This is what generally says, right? Chapati. Then you started taking chapati. What chapati it is? Chapati is you know, made up of godi, wheat powder. Do you know how the wheat powder has come? This patient doesn't know. This wheat powder from where it comes, how it is made up of. Very, very sorry affair. Actually, they're all sorry state of affairs, my dear friends. Because patient doesn't know. You, you believe that doctor is white. So white Dev Narayana Hari. You believe that doctor is a god for you, right? Then you go and sit with him. He told, he told only one thing. Take this medicine lifelong, number one. Number two, take more chapati. Reduce the rice, he says. Okay. These two things only he says. Nothing else. Okay, because he doesn't know. If he knows also, he may not tell. First of all, because it's a hospital business. You can't lose his business, isn't it? So your health is his business. Right? But your ill health is your suffering. That you know. But he doesn't know the pain what you are undergoing, isn't it? The mental pain, physical pain, what you are undergoing, you only know. Doctor doesn't know. Doctor only knows how much money goes, how much uh, how much money comes into his, his business or into his uh, system. The that all only he knows. Now, so then you believe him, you went there, you went to the, you went back home and started taking medicine. As I told you, medicine every day, you are, if you are taking, you are adding toxins to your physical body, number one. Number two, the chapati. Chapati is made up of wheat powder. 
the wheat powder is made up of wheat powder is grow wheat is go wheat is grown in the region of punjab basically most wheat okay that is where they use lot of chemicals as a chemical fertilizers and chemical pesticides very 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 sorry to hear that all these chemical pesticides and fertilizers it comes into the chapati directly what you are eating it is a part of that the something called poison on plate you are eating poison on plate directly then what happen it doesn't do any good okay that that's again so that is one side effect second is the chapati itself is having a something called gluten 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 substance is there that is a six sticky substance once it goes into physical body it, it what is going to do is it is going to paste you know in the with the with respect to pancreas basically the pancreas slowly slowly it loses its capacity to generate the natural insulin natural insulin pancreas is supposed to generate the natural insulin always then only you can maintain the glucose levels within your body properly now why the diabetes come first of all the diabetes comes because the glucose is more in your physical body in your blood that's what is detected in the part of the diabetic test blood test isn't it so that glucose what is more what is existing more in the more quantity inside the blood so that is the problem that is the root cause basically now the pancreas is the one pancreas pancreas is the organ which has to regulate the glucose glucose levels in your body but by eating more chapati the pancreas loses its capacity not able to control the glucose levels within your body then how can you become healthy again how can you come out of the diabetes you no way can come out of the diabetes friends if you start eating chapati you are a permanent patient for that hospital for the doctor throughout your life as a diabetic patient no matter how what it is but if you go through our lifestyle techniques holistic healing lifestyle techniques food techniques for mudra therapy acupressure you will reverse your diabetic you will come out of the diabetic within a matter of 3 months 4 months not more than that what do you need now you choose you choose what you need okay so which way you want to go right all throughout life you want to suffer or just a matter of 3 months the sign like a conscious way consciously live with all these techniques you will come out of it obviously so you will come out of it and then you can stay healthy as a normal person there won't be any difference between you and other person a normal person you become a normal person once again this is actually this is a dream for the people who are who go to allopathy doctors right they visit so that that's like a it's a distant dream for them they won't imagine that you know they'll come out of the diabetic anymore isn't it so that's how these the purpose of this kind of uh, workshops what we want to conduct so from now on every month two workshops basically the purpose of this workshop is to bring highest to awareness to bring is to prevention mechanisms and self curing mechanisms okay self diagnosis mechanisms all this we want to bring so across the humanity so that humanity can say can stay healthy happy secure safe okay all throughout their life my friends so so this, this is one of the example i am giving you part of the food tip right so just a diabetic i just given you now one example isn't it so similarly there are many more like this friends there are many many more okay for example you take a teeth with respect to teeth the health of the teeth what do you do doctor what it, what it does if you go to doctor and say that uh, my teeth is damaged i got some cavities okay and uh, teeth is uh, pain is there what what it, what does he do he screen the again he test it or whatever it does right x ray or whatever what is the problem you find out some root cause root canal some problem cavity some problem okay then what it does is it does operation he take out the tooth of course he collect good money right so you all you are also happy he is also happy my tooth is removed but do you know do you know what is going to be next it is going to be they because you will be put under lot of medication lot of medication basically to reduce the pain all the antibiotics the pain killer lot of things will go through your body physical body so that will have lot of side effects is called adverse drug reaction it will be there in the future very future very near future but if you take a holistic living holistic way of living you know how do how does we handle this situation any pain comes we have a home remedies we have home remedies which will solve the problem number one number two we will first of all what we say is say you don't use the paste tooth paste avoid it tooth brush avoid it okay first we will make sure that that is holistic living friends this is holistic living natural living not that you know you take your own the whatever the paste different brands of paste 
and take one one uh, rubber uh, brush and then go on do that okay well, why the god is given this this for this uh, index finger why the god has given that is the purpose okay isn't it so whenever any particles are struck in the in between the tooth that you can clean with a soft brush soft brush you do it that uh, particles can be taken out not like put the paste you know this much paste put in it then go on rub it like anything you know uh, sitting in the bathroom or outside going go on rub 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 you know the gums will go teeth enamel will go and uh, this uh, whatever the paste you are putting inside the mouth it is having highest amount of sugar sugar will sugar will go into the physical body then what not every damage will happen so is this told by doctors any dental doctor will you tell will they tell will they tell no they won't tell you then how can you become healthy with respect to your tooth? How the tooth can stay with you till the last breath? Is it possible? Yes. All our ancestors, 90 years also, their tooth is same. They, their tooth is intact. It is always there. Even 90 years of age. I can show you if you come to villages. Okay. Till now, now also. What is the, what is the reason? They use all natural way of natural living mechanism. Natural living tips. They use one neem, neem bar, okay, neem kandi. They use, isn't it? So one dantamanjan, right? The powder, dantamanjan powder made up of charcoal and some small, you know, salt and then having uh, having added with other herbs, isn't it? So there are very power, wonderful uh, so-called the dental powders are there, right? For cleansing our uh, mouth or out of the teeth to take away all the so-called the negative bacteria or any kind of a bacteria which is uh, existing within the within the mouth right which will spoil the teeth basically right so after all that we have natural substances then all these natural living tips friends we'll be sharing with you one by one one by one maybe hundreds of tips are there when it's not sufficient for next only i can say like 14 days what you are going to learn it may be lifelong journey it's lifelong learning as actually in fact to say right because we have hundreds of tips natural tips to share with all of you right so that anyway we'll be doing very shortly we'll be start starting right and also let me tell you so some somebody really i'm telling you one of the other other one of the diseases i'm telling so as i told you as i was uh, explaining about uh, some just chest, chest discomfort chest discomfort or a chest pain itself in mis is misunderstood as a heart problem many a times then you are screened for basically heart issue ecg blocks found then put into you so called angioplasty stunt stunt adding the stunt then you are completely that's a big stunt in your life adding stunt in the heart is a big stunt in your life okay then you become totally totally useless afterwards i have seen many people they add the stunt here then they, they, they this uh, this hand also they cannot raise like this you know they can't raise the hand they can move the hand so i i got one patient recently uh, he visited me he was telling sir uh, yeah, the stunt is added. Like same thing. He went to doctor. One block was there found. Then immediately he said, "Okay, do go for a stunt. Uh, inserting the stunt. He done it. Then after complete this, you know, this uh, entire hand is useless now because the stunt. What is there? The physical device. They keep the device. No, this this is going to damage some nerves basically. So the nerves are damaged permanently. Okay. Then the pain will be complete. Always it will be spreading the pain like this. Okay." But the, the same uh, chest pain, if you come to me, right, what I do is I'll give you the simplest mechanism. One mudra I'll give you, one acupressure I'll give you. You will be all right after 10 minutes. Is it not good? Is it not good? Is it not a great, great science, holistic science, holistic living? Yes, that's what important, friends. Okay. So th thank you, friends. So this is what I would like to uh, explain you. It's an introduction class, which I want to enlighten basically all of you about the significance of holistic living, right? In a day to day life. So thank you so much. Dhanivad. And if you have any further questions, I'll just, uh, uh, you can raise your hand. I'll unmute. Okay. Thank you. Yes. You can ask your questions about the course, about the today's class. What is your experience? How do you feel? So please share with us and so that uh, we'll be able to plan in the future. Right. Thank you. Yeah, you can you can raise your hand or you can anyway, I give an unmute option to all of you. You can speak up. Yes. Good morning, sir. I am Swami Nathan from Dharmavari. Yes. Very nice class, sir. Yes. I want to learn mainly acupressure. That's why I joined. I am also a meditator. Yes. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful.
Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, sir, it was a very knowledgeable session. Yes. Uh, I'm so thankful to you. And please, can I get the recording so that I can send it to my children and the daughter and all that? Definitely. definitely. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you this recording uh, session. As well, uh, everybody can join from uh, May 1st to May 14th. There's a course, there's uh, 12 classes only. In 12 classes, two spiritual wisdom classes, 10 will be holistic living classes. Okay. So during uh, those also, we and will be getting is, the recording. Uh, I'll be, this will be chargeable because uh, Sol Kshetra is the organization which will be doing. Okay. So we cannot do free of cost. The reason is uh, there is an organization. So to which uh, we have to support. Okay. So what will happen is uh, this uh, total 14 days, very dedicated packed, packed classes. Right. So what, what we do is we charge uh, 3000 rupees for one person. If it is a family of uh, family want to participate, you can do that. So 3500. That's all. That's so, sir, we will get we will get the recording of that also because I am traveling to Europe. So, the timing... Yeah, get, you get every, every day class will get. Yes. Okay, sir. So, sir, uh, send me the link today only, sir. Hmm. Yeah, we will... Uh, because the group is... Uh, add, when the group is created, I will share the link for the first uh, WhatsApp group link. You will okay, join there first so that you get all instructions. So, okay, what sir. we will do is we will create a mechanism of payment structure also. Payment... Uh, how yeah. to payment through online or whatever that uh, system of mode of payment also will explain. So whoever okay. wants to join, just pay it and then get a get an entry to that uh, WhatsApp group, the holistic living group, basically. So okay. then uh, your, uh, the journey will start. Journey will start for first batch. The first batch okay. will be starting from May 1st to May 14th. Then again, May 16th to May end, second batch. It will be continuous. No, continuous batches will be there now onwards throughout the India. Throughout India, it will be going on. Right? Okay. Yeah. Right. So, yes, friends, anybody, any questions are there with respect to this class or with respect to this thing? Please speak up. Yeah. Uh, sir, Namaskaram. My name is Asha. Yeah. And uh, I'm from Bangalore. I yeah. just want to know if there is any holistic hospital in uh, whenever there is an emergency or something where people can uh, come and take their uh, your advice yeah, definitely. definitely holistic uh, center that's what this program is also organized by soul kshetra soul okay. kshetra holistic wellness center in bangalore whitefield whitefield yes where exactly is this i'm also in whitefield oh like uh, chanasandra chanasandra main road oh i'm in nagonda nahalli ah, close to chanasandra <laughs> so where exactly is this located sir Thirma, thirmal chetali cross t cross okay so, can you send the location also? Or should I Google on the website? Is there any website for Sol Kshetra? Yeah, it is there. Sol Kshetra dot in. Okay, sir. I'll just Google that and get more information from there. Yeah. That's cool like, because it's close by to my place. Right, okay. Thank you because uh, my daughter, she had endometriosis and uh, we took Siddha medication for her. Mm -hmm. But uh, during med emergency, they could not uh, treat her and then uh, we had to take her to allopathy only. Mm -hmm. So, in uh, during emergency pain, she said, uh, look for acupressurist near your house and things like that. Suddenly, you know, finding an acupressurist in the emergency is not, uh, was mm -hmm. not possible. Mm -hmm. Also, it was not curable curable in uh, Siddha. Then we went for this one. So, I just want to know if holistic uh, medicine has any mm -hmm. cure. I mean, should it, be, should it be started in the starting stages itself or should it be uh, in advanced stages also? Is it... Yeah. Uh, Advanced stage also, advanced stage also, it work in unless uh, unless uh, unless uh, so something called emergency conditions. Okay. For example, okay. so you, you, this you has to be to, holistic yeah. living should be practiced, yeah. isn't it? Ah, uh, if you become breathless, huh. yeah, you become, if you become breathless, you need a support of ventilator. Okay. Correct. Where a holistic center cannot help you. Okay. So holistic, holistic living has to be practiced, is it? Yes, holistic absolutely. living has to be practiced from the starting the beginning absolutely. itself. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so thank you so much. Uh, I'll visit for Sol Shetra and uh, also join the join the course. Join the course very important. Yeah, yeah. Please okay. share this recording also so that I can send it See, to others. There is there is one word incurable. Uh, like uh, all the allopathy doctors say that. So mm -hmm. diabetes incurable. Like uh, BP incurable, and they say heart problem incurable. Let me okay. let me show the, the 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 inner meaning of that word incurable. Now divide it in plus curable, incurable. That means inside curable. All these are okay, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. So many times they say that no, they are all incurable. No, it is inside curable. 
That's why it is very simple. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Right. So any more people want to talk about this session? Otherwise, any questions on the workshop also you can ask. So open and like, you know, it's an interactive session. Don't worry. Any any question. You feel that stupid question also, don't worry. Ask. No Is problem. there any mudra that you can teach for pain management right now? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Can you just demonstrate? Yes. Any pain across the body. Take this uh, index finger. Okay. Mm -hmm. Touch the touch the base of the thumb. Base of the thumb. Okay. okay. Then close uh -huh. it. Then close this uh, with the thumb. Okay. This is a Vayu Mudra. Oh, okay. On it both hands? On both hands. This can be done while sleeping also? Yeah, yeah. sleeping you will you'll remove the hand, no? Because you become unconscious, right? How can no, you... no, no. Sleeping means lying down. So, sorry, lying hmm. down. Because ah, lying my mother-in-law, yes, yes. she's Absolutely. 90 years old. She's 90 Absolutely. years old and suffering from hmm. cancer. So, sure. uh, she's having pain, lot of pain, body pain. Yes. So, if this mudra can be practiced by her, then I can tell her while lying down also she can practice. Lying down. Another thing I'll tell you. One more one more technique, a tip I'll give you. So, if at all, she can't keep like this now. Keep it mm -hmm. like this and put a tape around it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. simple. As simple okay. as that. Okay. Put okay. a tape and leave it. So, throughout okay. night also she'll be, you know, she'll be having this uh, mudra and then okay. that uh, mudra will keep working. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Right. Any, anybody else want to ask any questions, friends? Another three minutes we have. Mm -hmm. So this class is for seven to eight. So another three more minutes, you have an opportunity to ask any questions or whatever. Sir, can you brief about the nutrition part? Nutrition part, uh, you want it, uh, what you want? Uh, some some tips. Uh -huh, okay, some, some tips, right. Mm -hmm. So I, I said one tip, the good tip for the diabetic patients. I told... What is the like you know what is the negative mechanism? Negative things are happening because of the eating chapati, isn't it? Ah yes yes. So that's fine, very yeah. fine. Now milk, you take milk. Milk milk. I say always it's a time bomb. The time bomb. It will work with respect to time. It will kill completely. The milk. What 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 are the milk we are drinking? We are consuming day to day. Okay. Let me tell you, let me tell you the fact about it. So there are two type of milks, A1 milk, A2 milk. Whatever available in the general, you know, in the society, it's called A1 milk. Yep. Milk which is available in the Goshala, that too, naughty Goshala, is called A2 milk. Okay. How many people will get A2 milk? Very rare. Very few people. Very few people, right? Then A2 milk is good, but in the sense... I don't recommend even drinking any kind of milk for that matter. For a human being, we say always that don't drink any milk. The, there is a reason for that. Thanks. There is a reason for that. Let me tell you. See, for the kids up to three to five years, maximum three years, you will get certain enzymes produced inside the body. They will digest the milk substance. That to mother milk. Okay. Beyond that, there is no such kind of enzymes available within us. Then what will happen if you drink that kind of, if you drink, you know, any, any, any age, after the three years age, anybody drink that milk, what happens? That becomes a poison for your body. You understand? So this Thanks, is what is happening. Yeah. Uh, so I have a question like, can we consume uh, curd, curd and paneer? Yes, and ghee? Cur curd and milk and also not with A1 milk. But unfortunate, we don't get A2 milk much. But there, are, there is a A2 milk supply in the Bangalore. We can take help of them. But if you have Goshala nearby, the best thing is go to Goshala, take half liter, one liter. It is a little costly. See, normal milk is Nandini milk, heritage milk, cost about 45, 50 rupees per liter. This cost about 85, 90 rupees. But it saves a lot of medical expenses. Why don't we do that? Okay. And Paneer and ghee also, it's not uh, good no. for us. No. Ghee which, is made, which is made up of A2 milk, it's good. But do you do you get it? Paneer, cheese, all these things. Do you know how they make it? Uh, no, ghee, ghee, uh, ghee. ghee. Ghee also. I'm telling ghee also. Like uh, ghee, for example, uh, what GRB ghee. GRB, which everybody uses in the society, right? GRB ghee. 
GRP ki what happened? It's a A1 milk, made up of A1 milk. That's also not good. Okay. A2 milk, if you if any uh, the ghee generated out of A2 milk, use it every day, every on uh, top of you know, it's a like, like a top of. So on every food, whatever you eat, just put some one spoon and eat. For a day, four to five spoons you can consume A2 ghee. That is going to be wonderful. It's going to build your immunity power like anything. Okay. So we'll okay. teach all these things. You're asking all the questions. Any part of the course, a lot of things are there to learn like this. Not one or two. There are many, many things. Every day there will be a, it's a course basically. So it's a driven by syllabus. Okay. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So, friends, anybody want to ask any questions? You can. Yes. Sir, for told about the pyramid, pyramid. Yeah. Uh, so, to know the scientific uh, thing about it, like how it is keeping the food safe and all those things. Right. So, so, <clears throat> so, I mean, briefly, I will share. Briefly, I will share the information. Later on, you can learn in deep, in depth. Uh, this pyramid, pyramidology. It's called pyramidology, or it's called the pyramid uh, healing. That will come part of this course itself. So then you can learn more. But very, you know, like in a, in order to answer in a brief, in a brief manner, pyramid has a capability to store the cosmic energy. The cosmic energy is the high frequency, high high vibrational energy. Remember this point. It's called high frequency energy, high vibrational energy. So that will be preserved by pyramid in an abundant manner. No other structure on this uh -huh. planet cannot store like pyramid. All other structures will, will have a lot of leakages of the, of course, the cosmic energy or so-called the high vibrational energy, which will come, uh, which will come and you know it will be going through all the structures, but they can't preserve, they lose it. They just leak it. The leakage will be continuous from any kind of structure. But pyramid structure will not leak that energy. It will preserve inside. So because it preserves inside, right? If you go inside and sit, you receive that energy. I receive that energy. If you keep some any one item you want to preserve, keep in the pyramid. Because of the, the, the abundant presence of that cosmic energy, the item also will be fresh. It will be intact. It will not be damaged. It will not be decayed, decomposed. It will not happen. Understood? Okay, sir. Thank you. Yes. Right. Okay, friends. So, anything else you want to speak? Right. We'll be sharing further details in the all the groups, right? And uh, the one more group uh, link is created. That group you have to join. So we'll also give all the details. So payment mode, all the details, mode of payment, everything, mode of contribution. Okay, right. So let's do all that and let's join from. Thank you. Thank you. May first onwards, let's join. So thank you. Dhaniwa. Dhaniwa to all of you.